Yo, it's Big Fan Breezy with the Brooklyn Nets vlog, but this is Big Fan Breezy with the recap to the song by Kendrick Lamar, Metro Boomin' and Future. What does the future hold? Oh my goodness, man. This summer is fitting to be crazy with the music, bro. The song set the internet on fire. Shout out to MREC TV. He was the first person I seen doing it last night. I jumped on his stream. He was kicking it. And I was like, nah, man, I ain't done. I, I still got to recap this myself, too, man, because it's just more to it. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to get to Kendrick Lamar's verse. We're going to talk Kendrick Lamar verse. We're going to talk the verse that J. Cole and Drake had together. Was there any sneak dissing? Because Kendrick Lamar said it was sneak dissing. I didn't necessarily hear that. I thought J. Cole was trying to prop him. But my guy, K. Dot, feels different. What? Shout out to Dan, you in the chat. Shout out to Leaf Diggy in the chat. Yo, I'm finna let the guys up real soon, man. We, we definitely going to talk. I just want to kind of get my take out the, not out the way, but I want y'all to hear mine before I go back and forth with y'all. And y'all ultimately could, you know, put me on the stuff that I might have missed. But karaoke in this, I'm going to give it a try. He said, these N-words talking out they necks, they don't pull no coughing out your mouth. I'm way too paranoid for a threat. Okay, okay, let's keep going. He said, hey, hey, let's get it, bro. D-O-T, the money, power, respect. The last one is better. He talking about respect. Respect is better than money and power. Talk to him. Then he said, say it's a lot of goo say it's a lot of goofies with a check. Ooh, the Nike deal with Drake. Drake got a Nike deal. Is he talking about him being a goofy? He just because he got a Nike deal don't make him not one of those. What? He dropping bombs. We even eight bars in and he kicking up wild dust. And then he said, he said, I mean, ah, oh, I hope them cinnamon somebody. Oh, uh, my temper made by polar. I choose violence. Yo, he said he not even right. He got a lot of personalities with him. You know, he got inflections and he be changing his voice up. And you know what I mean? He be doing all of this, changing his voices and all of that stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So him saying he bipolar, I thought that was dope. I like how he addressed that because a lot of people always said this and that about him switching his uh, and, and, and tones and, 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 and you know what I mean? Uh, of the like. And octaves, that's the word I'm looking for. Tones, octaves, you know what I mean? He's he's good at doing that as well. Great, actually. Um, So he addresses that. So he said, oh, my temperament bipolar. I chose violence. Um, Then he says, okay, let's get it up. It's time for him to prove that he's a problem. Now, he talking about J. Cole. J. Cole always talk about everybody he want to feature with. He be doing them bad. He said it on Secret Recipe with Lil Yachty. He always talking spicy about doing that. And if you remember, Kendrick Lamar was supposed to have a mixtape with J. Cole. So K. Dot ain't trying to hear none of that. He ain't trying to hear none of that shit about no features because the real features was supposed to be K. Dot and J. Cole and he pressed J. Cole on the matter. K. Dot to the rescue got hip hop in the headlock. What? I'm fucking with K. Dot on this one, man. Y'all love J. Cole and Drake, but this shit, how he just doing what he doing, and bruh, stop it. I heard Drake responding on IG, you better drop some fucking balls. This ain't what you, this ain't, this ain't Meek Mill, man. This ain't fucking, uh, uh you gonna get Meek Mill gone, uh, K. Dot going with a back-to-back -back track. Hell no, you can't do that. Not the K. Dot. Not the Kendrick Lamar. I'm not even halfway through the verse. I'm not even halfway through the verse. Hold on, man. Oh, Jay in the building. Jay, Jay, you didn't hear this song? No, Jay. Jay, I need you to go hear this song and come back. 
This song is called Like That with Metro Boomin' Future featuring Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar went car ra 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 racing on these boys. What? Jay, go hear this song. I can't play the song for copyright reasons, you know. But I'm telling you, listen to this song and then come back, bro. I need you to jump on with, and we got to talk. Oh, my goodness. Ray LM says, laughing my butt off. I keep saying stop messing with Kendrick. Hmm. <laughs> Leaf said, this ain't for Drake to respond to. What? Are you serious? Nah, Leaf didn't hear this song. I continue. I continue. He said, niggas clicking up can't, but cannot be legit. No 40 water. Tell him. That's 40. He talking about Drake producer. He said that alliance to me. I'm just saying. I ain't saying he said that. I'm just saying this is what I think he said. He basically like, since 40, your dude that your producer that you came up with, if he ain't make this beat, I'm I'm not, I'm invalidating this shit. Fuck out of here. He ain't bull. He ain't playing with them. What? He ain't impressed. He said, "Ah, yeah, huh? Yeah, get get up with me. Fuck sneak this in first person shooter. I hope they came with three switches. I crash out like fuck rap this. Um, fuck, like fuck rap this. Mel Mel if I had to. So I crash out like fuck rap this. It say this like it's a diss record and it's a song." I don't know, but I thought he just was saying this, T-H-I-S. We're going to have to do the the, the the background and see what's going on with this. Because, you know, we're we, we breaking this down. We're breaking this whole verse down. I ain't even done yet. And then, he, and then he said, then he said, this Mel Mel, if I had to, got two T's with me. I'm snatching chains and burning tattoos. It's up. L lost too many soldiers. What? It's up. Lost too many soldiers not to play it safe. If he walk around with that stick, it ain't Andre 3K. I, that sound like a J. Cole. He coming that stick, that sub right there. Then he said, then he said, think I won't drop the location? I still got PTSD. See, he got PTSD about where he from. And he, that's from Compton. And if you listen to him and talk about uh the uh, uh Matt, what was it? Uh, um a uh, uh, child from um uh, the city. I forgot the name of the album, man, but y'all know what I'm talking about. But again, yeah, man, he not done. Let me keep going. Let me keep going. Then he said, mother, fuck the big three. No, it's just big me. So that's real shit. Drake done did a mixtape with Future. Drake done did a mixtape with, with, uh, uh, he got songs, more songs with J. Cole. He did that. And 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 Jake and Drake and, and K. Dot, they ain't really got no songs together. J. Cole talking about Big Three, like he trying to bring him around Drake. You don't give a fuck about that, that shit. He don't need Drake for clout. J. Cole? J. Cole is my guy. But K. Dot kicking up wild dust. Y'all better respond to this shit over the weekend. The longer y'all let this shit brew, the... Pff, Listen, this shit ain't even like, bruh, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, man. Oh, man. This is, th yo. I, listen, I, I, if y'all haven't realized by now, I'm a big fan of hip hop, too. Definitely a big fan of hip hop. I do the, I do the basketball, but I'm definitely a big fan of hip hop. You know what I'm saying? I might have to start doing more of these, man, because this, this is, this is real. This is a win for the fans. The fans actually win. See, as a Nets fan, I don't win a lot. But as a hip hop fan, I'm winning. I'm I'm winning right now. This this is a win for fans. If you're a fan of hip hop, you are winning right now. That's a fact. It's big fan breezy with the t recap with the hip hop recap. The 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 oh, this shit is ultimate, man. Uh, let me let me get to it. Um, I'm gonna let, I'm about to open up the panel so we can all talk about this. But please listen. I implore you to listen to this track before you pull up, bro. Please listen to this song. Please listen to this song before you pull up. Um, that being said, uh, he said, "Motherfucker, the big three, nigga. It's just big me, nigga. Bang. I'm really like that. And your best work a light pack. He saying your best work is a light pack. What? He definitely he talk about both of them." Leaf talking about he ain't talking about Drake. He said, nigga, 
Prince outlive Mike Jack. What? He talking about um that song three uh to first person shooter and 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 Drake said uh I'm um I'm one away from Michael Jackson nigga beat it beat it beat it beat it so he coming right at him he said he said Prince outlive Mike Jack that was that was that was ooh, ooh, bro Kendrick Lamar is unhinged oh my goodness man he said bang for your dogs getting buried. That's a K wall. He's nice. He going to see Pet Cemetery. Nigga, bang. What? Oh, my God. Yo. Nah, bro. Nah. 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 Yo, listen to this song before y'all pull up. That's all I ask, bro. That's all I ask, bro. Just listen to this song before y'all pull up, man. Please, man. Please, man. Don't pull up if you haven't heard this song, man. I want y'all to pull up. I just want y'all to pull up after y'all listen to this song, man. <sighs> Bruh. I, and I'm, I'm obviously, this is acapella. You know, you're not getting how he's saying it, but. Uh, oh, my goodness, man. This giving me that. Hold on, let's see what's going on with my guy, Ray LM. Yo, LM, how you feel about this track? Did you hear it yet? Yeah, man, I heard it. I heard it last night. I was up last night listening to that album. But I heard it. I heard, I mean, I heard it earlier this morning, bro. And Listen, I, I've been saying you, for I years. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you go. I've been saying for years, Kendrick out of the big three is the best rapper I've been saying it for years. I've been saying it since I've been saying it since Good Kid Mad City. I've been saying it since Section 80. I've been saying it for since 2012. Bro. Section 80, yeah. Well, when I heard Section 80, I was kind of like, yeah, this guy's super duper nice. Dude, when Good Kid Mad City came out, I was like, all right, he got you on notice. When To Pimp a Butterfly came out, I was like, yeah, he solidified. When Damn came out, I was like, he he has a in terms of his discography. I think it's pretty solid. I don't think he has a bad album in his discography at all. But Drake, <sighs> the thing with Drake is he, he, he I don't think he's going to respond because he on tour. I would hope he does, but this is what we need, man. It's 2024, summer coming up. I want some, I want hip hop to shake. The big three got to shake. It's about time. We ain't been getting nothing in hip hop for a while. It's been kind of stagnant, but I like the smoke. I like Kendrick when he, I mean, he, you know, Kendrick do his conscious stuff. You know, he doing his, he do his uh, concept stuff. But I like when he's on this ignorant mindset too. Like, yo, I can really get down with y'all too. Don't think because right. I'm rapping about uh, black issues and stuff that I can't get down when it's necessary. Y'all can get the smoke too. I don't see, I don't see, y'all think I see y'all's competition? I don't see y'all's, y'all nothing to me. Uh, I've but, been better than two or three of y'all. Okay, okay, I, I'm with this, you. I love this. This, 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 this is funny to me, bro. Hold lie. on, we're we gonna go to you, Leaf. I'm gonna ask both of y'all the same question. What bar really, what, what, what was your favorite bar in this verse, Ellen? Talk to me. Um, oh my gosh, there's so much. Nah, Prince outlived my back. That was carry, you, crazy. I want both, I want you and Leaf to karaoke if y'all want. Y'all got the option. Do you want to karaoke this verse and, and walk us through how you see it? Um, talk to me. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I like I like the part where he said, "Uh, I like when so he said, me, I hope I, I.'" So when he said, "These niggas talking out their necks," don't pull no coughing out of your mouth. I'm way too paranoid for a threat. I like mm. that because he's saying, "Yo, you, you Cole, you and Cole been linking up. I don't. I need to know who's who. Y'all, y'all mm. making moves. Y'all making me paranoid. I don't know who to mm. trust." J. Cole mm -hmm. on this kumbaya nonsense trying to link us mm -hmm. up. You know we got beef. Don't try mm -hmm. to link us up with nothing. I'm not trying to be cool with him. I'm not on none of that. It's, I'm Talk not locking with, with OVO. Then he mm -hmm. said, DOT, the money, power, respect. The last one is better. Say there's a lot of goofies with a check. Mm -hmm. A lot of goofies with a check. Drake mm -hmm. got money. Cool. We know he the famous mm -hmm. one out of all of them. We know he, he in the pop biz, all of that. But you still look goofy in my eyes, bro. I don't look at you like you're the best just because you got more money. 
at the end of the day, it's always art outlives everything, period. My art going to speak for itself. Then he says, I hope then sentiment symbolic. I'm a temperament bipolar. I chose violence. Mm. Jay, Kendrick has came out plenty of times and said, yo, I'm a Gemini. I got two sides to me. Like I, I, I tend to get violent. I'm not with that kumbaya nonsense. It's up and it's stuck with y'all. Then he said, okay, let's get it up. It's time for him to prove that he's a problem. Niggas uh -huh. clicking up, but can I be legit? No 40 water, tell him. That's a shout out to uh, E40. You know, he's from the West yeah. Coast. Yeah. Then he said, yeah, get up with me. Fuck sneak this in first person shooter. I hope they came with three switches. We all, and everybody be like, yo, um, it's sneak this and it's not. They throwing shade. But we all know who we talking about. I don't think he got to name names. We know who made first person shooter. Like, it's, it, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. I crashed out like F rap this Melly Mel if I had to got two T's with me. I'm snatching chains and burning tattoos. It's no, hold on, hold on, hold on. I love let me bring it back with you real quick about that, Bob. Um again, I think he questioned their alliance. The whole thing with no 40, I think it's a double entendre. It is a look to, right. to he's E40, but also remember, great producer was 40. It or oh, is 40. Mm -hmm. and he, 40 didn't make right. that beat. He like, oh, that shit corny. They ain't yeah, that shit. yeah. Like yo, he K dot. You can't get him to gravitate to you because of clout. He too authentic. But go ahead, yeah. Go ahead. Right. I don't want to sleep down. Go ahead. Then he said, "Lost too many soldiers not to play it safe. If you walk around with that stick, it ain't Andre 3K." And I all I think what he means is obviously if you walk around that stick, not to Dreamville, the stick song, obviously. Mm -hmm. But I think mm -hmm. also as well. You know, Andre Andre 3K, as you know, Andre 3K been on his, you know, peace and positivity rollout. You know what I'm saying? He ain't been on that nonsense. But Kendrick letting y'all know, yo, I'm with the BS, bro. This ain't Andre 3K. This ain't no uh situation where I'm gonna be I'm playing nice. It's up and it's stuck. If it's anything, if it's a beef, if there's a problem, come straight to me and address it. Then he mm -hmm. said, think I won't drop the location. I still got PTSD. Motherfuck the big three, nigga. It's just big me. I've been mm -hmm. saying for years that Kendrick is in a different realm of his own when it comes to the big three. The only person that I think even com the only person I think compares to him out of the big three is Cole. That's literally it. I don't think Drake lyrically touches Kendrick, period. Mm -hmm. Mm. I don't think he touches Kendrick, period, lyrically. I don't think he wants to smoke. He saw what he did when Pusha T released that track. He ain't say nothing for years. When mm -hmm. it comes to dudes like Pusha and Kendrick, dudes that come from a different cloth lyrically, he can't do nothing with them. He don't want to smoke. Uh, it, it, I, that's, what, that's to me, I think. But, yeah, you can go, Lee. Well, the reason, why, the reason why I put in the chat that this is not for Drake to respond to is because it like let's face it, bro. This shit is all about status. That like the, the, Kendrick did this shit before years ago, bro. And niggas ain't respond, bro. Like it was it was one of those. They kind of look at Kendrick, bro. Like like the same way a lot of people look at him, bro. Like just to create parody videos, bro. Like they like as as much as Kendrick wordplay, and I love the wordplay, bro. Like but the way it's put together, I'm just like. All right, man. Like I, I didn't say I didn't heard Kendrick uh, go at niggas before, and they didn't really take him seriously, bro. Like or whatever the case, what meant was. But to 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 piggyback on what LM said. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You say hold on, hold on, slow it down. You say that they don't. I take just listen to it now. My fault. Yo, wait, 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 wait. Actually, wait, wait. Say that, say that again, please. Subscribe to the page. Hold on. You're saying I'm not. I'm trying to make sure I heard you correctly. You said that Drake and J Cole not gonna take this seriously. No, no, no. I think no. I think it's for J Cole to take seriously. I don't think it's for Drake because the the thing is why not? Nah, because, it is for Drake. That's nah, 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 shit, bro. Nah, nah, when nah, nah, he just it is for, it's definitely no, no, for no, no, Drake. No, 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 wait, 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 Mike Jack, he was talking oh, directly oh, to Drake. I, I understand. I understand who he was talking to. I, I, I get all of that. But the the thing about Drake is, bro, like. Drake is basically living off a of status right now, bro. Like it's it's not it ain't it, it it I don't I don't personally don't think that he gonna respond to it, but if he does, that'd be great for him. So no no, no. fuck if you think if he is or not as an MC, you trying to tell me this nigga K dot checked his mic, bro. 
That's yeah, called a mic check. Yeah, hold, hold on, on. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I got another point. Though. And Leaf, and Leaf, you Yo, gotta I, say, I, you gotta I, think I, about I, the two wait, Drake wait, wait, and Kendrick wait, wait, stuff for years, bro. Do y'all notice he did it on the song with Future though? Remember yes, Drake, Drake, right. yeah, and, Drake yeah, and Future had this shit together, so Future went. But Jay, Drake Metro Boomin don't like Drake either, Metro so I'm, 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 I'm not surprised he gave him right. Listen, listen, yeah. hold on. But what I'm saying, listen, like, listen. But, what but I'm saying, I, I wanted to finish my sentiment, bro, by saying, bro, like I personally think that J Cole is gonna go more in than Drake. Like in mm. terms of like, I think Drake is going. Drake is going to do some shit. Like, yo, y'all remember when um. When when uh when uh what you call it was going that hole when Cameron was going that hole, and 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 Jay put out like maybe like one or two songs, bro. He put out maybe the ball. He put out a freestyle of ball in, and then uh, uh he put out the hustling remix or some shit. Like it's not like Jay. Like I'm telling you, Drake gonna be on that type of timing, bro. He ain't gonna feel like he need to respond to this nigga, bro. He like Drake is a status nigga to me. J Cole, this is more for J Cole. To, in my personal opinion, this is more for J Cole. You don't it remember what Drake, Drake did to Meek, man? Meek I remember Mills what he did to Meek. He's, Meek Mill still, still ain't gonna recover. recover. Yeah, of course Meek still ain't recover. I understand mm. that. But the thing is, he did that for Meek, bro. Like, just, just like to play around, bro. Like, I don't think rap for rap, bro. Like, J. Cole, I don't think Drake could stand next to neither one of these niggas in terms of J. Cole and Kendrick. But when it comes like, in to terms of hits. When it comes to, come to making hits, hits. yeah, 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 that. yeah, it's not that, but but the thing is, this this is word for word Smith's type shit, bro. Like, no, I right. personally, I personally think J Cole is gonna is 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 gonna be the first person up, and he gonna be the first person to be like, nigga, like, you, huh? Who you talking to? Nigga he gonna said, be on that type the of big shit. three is big me. Ah. Uh, I mean, I re- listen, crazy. I, listen, listen, listen. I, I listen. I respect Ken. Listen, I respect Kendrick in terms of like what, what, like the word, the, the words that he could put together when everybody thinks that he on some bullshit. When every, just when everybody think that he on some bullshit, he'll come back and put something like this together, and you'll be like, I "Believe the thing I about it is, bravado, with, man." But the thing about it is, Leaf with with Kendrick, they don't. This is what people want to hear from him. They every, the biggest thing about Kendrick that people, well, from what I've heard, is that yo, he always on this. I gotta need. I need a dictionary uh to listen to him. He on this always smart uh black power type timing. Yo, I want to hear some ignorance shit once in a while. Yeah, this is what people want to hear from wanna, Kendrick. I don't want to hear robot flow from Kendrick, bro. Like, I like I ain't gonna lie. It was this, still this robot Kendrick, flow on that shit. It was still robot flow on that shit, but I mean, it wasn't to a point where I could make fun of it, bro. Like, I'm like, this, this was this was some serious shit right here, bro. Like, he felt some type of way about what them niggas been doing, bro, for quite some time, bro. Right? And it, it just so happened to be put in one verse, bro. Like about <laughs> you know on 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 a future song, bro. Like at that, so I mean. Yeah, like, oh, someone said they oh, someone said Jay yeah. gotta get in on this. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey, no, I wanna I wanna ask Jay something real quick. Let me ask you something, Jay. What up? Because this is this is how I see it, Brody. I look at it like first off, K Doc he questioned that alliance because they were supposed to come out with a mixtape. I don't know if y'all know that. Like J. Cole and K Dot was supposed yeah, to have a mixtape, like it was yeah. supposed to happen. So case in point is J. Cole, he worked with different he talking about all of these features and how he killing this and that one on a feature, but the entire time K Dot, like, yo, what happened to our mixtape? You talking all this feature right. shit. So he's this is I why when he said, Hold on, this is why this is my question, Jay. This is why I know he coming at J. Cole when he said he's gonna have to prove that he a problem. You gonna have to prove you supposed to do the mixtape. You doing features with everybody else but me? Yeah, prove you a problem. Do now. What's up? Nah, this shit finna be something, Jay. This, 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 but 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 I want to continue. With about, some, Jay. I want to continue by saying I think this is more for J Cole than it is for Drake. I think Drake oh, heard oh, that. Oh. Drake heard nah, that. Nah, I, I think, a, I, I think it's for them sure both, but it's more for Drake. Drake. I it's think it's more. Wrong. I think it's more it's, for Jay Cole. Hold on, I was trying to ask Jay. Let let Jay ain't say nothing for real yet. It's. I feel like it's equally for both of the niggas. He's saying y'all niggas trying to click up. Y'all niggas trying to go on tour together and shit. Make fucking videos <laughs> together. Y'all trying to kumbaya. <laughs> Fuck all that. Because even in that, they included K Dot in the song. They mm-hmm. said, "Yo, it's it's Aubrey K Dot and me." 
And then mm. what, what Kendrick said in the song was, fuck the big three, it's a big me. That's it. Mm. He's letting mm. niggas know it ain't none of that kumbaya shit. It wasn't it's no a motherfucking in this. war. And it I'm wasn't no time. subliminals in this. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna mm. lie to you. There was not no subliminals in this. He mm. said y'all it. Know, hey, you I know didn't even know what y'all was talking about. Why y'all was talking? I just muted y'all. I, heard, I, heard, it, no, I heard it earlier on YouTube. Somebody yeah. had sent it to me. I was like, I was like, yo, who this and who? I was like, I turned it on. I was like, Oh, all right, all right, yeah, this nigga. Right. But y'all gotta remember, this is been going like way though. back. What he said wasn't unbeatable. Nah, it wasn't unbeatable at like all. Nah, but it, it made it, and he made himself clear on where he's standing at. Where he's standing. I like that. Yeah. He's staying over here. Y'all talking about you, because again, think about it. The entire time before he responded, he like, oh, he got niggas thinking it's all kumbaya. I'm pretty like, sure these two like cool. this. This, no, this is read, the dark skin, light skin battle I've been waiting for for a minute. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Nah, 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 hold on. Yo, when it come down to a fan, and I was, earlier I was saying, and this is funny, I know y'all gonna love this. I said, you know, the fans win with this. As a Nets fan, I don't win a lot. But with this, fans win with this, right? So case in point is, I thought that was funny, but whatever. But case in point is, the fans were supposed to win with a K.J. Cole mixtape. That was supposed to be a real win for the culture, a real hip-hop win. And like Jay said, they up clicking up, making videos, man. Fuck all that. Now I'm saying we were supposed to do a whole mixtape before y'all ain't had any of that shit going. And look at the dis the, the, the gap in time from when they were supposed to do their mixtape till now. So K I, I agree with K.J. I agree with K.J. K.J. should be mad and should be going at both of them the way he did. Shout the cake guy, man. For keeping wait, breezy, you this been breezy. This been brewing for a while, bro. If you look at fam, if you look at family ties, with him and, they with him and baby team, right? That family ties song with him and baby team, right? He said, um, I think he says something like, Yeah, Kanye changed his life, but me, I'm still an old school Gemini. Like, and then on freaking uh father time on his album. He said when he saw Kanye link up with Drake, he was slightly confused. Guess us, guess I'm not as healed as I think. I got some healing to do. So in turn, like Kendrick don't like him, bro. Like he's still on some yo. I'm I'm not messing with this OVO dude. I'm not messing with any of them. So right. when he saw Cole link up with Drake, I think in his mind it's like yo. Why are you linking up with the the dude that I don't like? Like I know you're trying to be the mediator between us, but like I'm gonna rock with him, and he don't rock with me. He been sending subliminals since 2012. Like I'm not, I'm not with that. That. That, that is a fact. He been sending some subs, man, for 12 years. And, and listen, I it's been known they don't like each other, bro. It, it's been well known, but I, listen, I respect what uh, Kendrick is coming from in terms of. Uh, uh, this this particular verse and, and and um how he put it, but let's be honest, bro. Like this shit is far from over. This shit is oh, far. From over. Bro, this shit Drake, and, over. Drake and Cole need to release something. Drake and Cole listen, need to release something. This shit is they far need from to. Over. They, I mean, yeah, they, they, they don't they need. They don't need to jump the nigga, together. bro. I mean, they can't do it together. Bro. No, they no, not together. together. I mean, like separately, like. No, uh, no, no. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, hold on. The whole argument about it's more towards. To Drake than J. Cole. I don't think Kendrick did that. He like, nah, yeah, I'm going that child lions. Fuck that. I'm not trying to say it's more him or more you. I'm going at both of y'all. And I think that's why Kendrick got the lead in this situation. Because when you look in the third person shooter, it's a, what he did with third person shooter, that song, and then what he did with this song. Like Jay said, it's beatable, but just the versus third person shooter versus this song, he's fucking them up. Bro, I'm telling you, he kicking nah, the wild dust. I don't, don't, no, no. This verse. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, right, don't let me ask even this, do let that. Me ask this, this verse is not better than J. Cole verse on first person shooter. I don't not. know, man. We're going to have to. Oh, uh, yeah, I can't say that definitively. Mean, I can't no, say no, that. No, no, no. That, J. That, J. Cole verse on first person. J. Cole verse on first person shooter was wild, bro. I think it's just longer, bro, but I don't know. I'll put it to you this way, bro. Listen. If, if, if Kendrick, uh, I only if listened Kend to it once, but y'all yeah, might be listen, jumping nah, off the cliff with that one. Y'all yeah, might, yeah, 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 might be jumping off the cliff. I told you, I just heard it while y'all was talking. I just went. No, 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 no. first person shooter. I've listened to that mad times, but I'm just saying, J. Cole verse on that verse, this verse, 
Like this verse is just a direct shot battle verse, but that is a crafted verse that J. Cole yeah, spit yeah. on that shit. Yes, that's very well. I mean, with J. Cole on that song, bro, he thought Drake was gonna bring his A game. Like, of he course, did. he gotta Drake go off not. on he gotta go off on that song. Like, it's, it's a go on go on goat song in terms of this song. Uh, I think Ken one, I think Kendrick's verse is shorter, and two, I think uh, it's not, I don't think, I don't think Cole was really trying to diss everybody, I think he was just trying to be kumbaya and shout out K. That, like, oh, yeah, it's the three of oh, us, we own this. That nigga Cole was coming at everybody in that verse too. He said, "I'm the one that you call when you need need your shit to connect." I'm like, "Call ideas and whatever." I, I know you yeah. think I got a job in IT. Like he was Ooh. saying all that shit. He was coming. Yeah, right him. now I feel like Muhammad Ali. Yeah, he was. He was wild. Hold on, hold on. He no, was no, wild. No, let's get to it. Hold on, hold on. Anybody, anybody on the panel want to uh, go through the verse? Because Jay said that I can't just let that shit slide. We here for it. Uh, so I pulled up the verse. This is third person shooter lyrics. Anybody on the panel want to read J. Cole lyrics? Um, if not, I'm gonna do it. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, you go ahead and do it, bro. Like I already all know right, what right. you said, and I still I was okay. just like, okay, okay. <laughs> so okay, so he go, uh, J. Cole. He goes first person shooter mode. We turning your song to a funeral to them niggas that say we want they want office. Y'all better be talking about working in cubicles. Yeah, them boys had a lot, but I knew the cold. Who them boys had a lot? Who you talking about, J. Cole? So then he said, "A lot of niggas debating my numero." Oh, you got go to the, go to the lyrics though. You on Drake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. go down, go, go down. You on? Yeah, you you about to end the this, Drake? Uh, uh, that's that's the chorus, bro. That's the intro of the song. No, go no, down, but still, I I know it's the chorus, bro. I'm just saying this is know, what J Cole is saying. I'm calling through. I know you're reading it. it. I'm just saying, it. put it on the screen. Oh, y'all don't see it? Oh, this. Is, no. Oh. Oh, you, I, I, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, there you, you just reading the shit funny, I guess. Good. <laughs> yeah, bro, come on, man. I ain't the actual artist, my guy. I'm just not in the man. Ain't even no beat on it. Karaoke ain't fucking easy, man. Nah, come yes, on, hold on. Go ahead, man. They already got it laid out for you, but go. <laughs> 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 uh, 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 he uh, said they already got it laid out for you, man. Uh, you, had said, it, you, said, you had it locked, but they knew the code. Uh huh. He said, and then he said, a lot of niggas debating my numero, not the three, not the two. I'm the UNO, yeah, numero, UNO, me and Tracy, the shit like the Super Bowl, man, this shit, then they're biggest the what? And then they do that. And then, um, fuck Drake Verse. Drake Verse was horrible. I ain't gonna end this one. Drake Verse was terrible. Even the second verse, it was the beat that made it better. Yeah, like the beat switch. Like, beat switch. Ugh, no. but keep that's, going, I, that's what I'm saying. Post. I thought he should have stayed on the same beat. Mm. He he did not want J. Cole to hear that beat. <laughs> yeah, he really, he really did. Bro. He did not want J. Cole to he, hear that really, beat. J. Cole really never heard that beat to the song come, came out. Yeah, I he, really, he really didn't because it, you could tell. I promise you. He, is, yo. And the thing I, is, the second that he heard the beat, he knew yo, he fucked I'll up. I'll tell you what happened, Lee. Yo, after <laughs> Jake Drake did his verse, right? Uh -huh. He did his verse, and then uh, yeah. uh, J. Cole was like, yo, your verse kind of short. You going to leave it just like that? He's like, yeah, yeah, it's no problem. Yeah, I'm going to leave it just like that. And I mean, I think that's all the that song need. <laughs> oh, then, then J. Cole did his shit. Once he did his shit, he's like, oh, yeah, that was fire. Yeah, let me walk you to the door, man. Yeah, I'll see you next week. I'll see you. I'll see you. <laughs> they, niggas like, yo, look out the window. Make sure that nigga going. He gone? He gone? He make, gone. That nigga ain't leave nothing? All right, turn that other beat on. <laughs> turn that other shit on. Yeah, he, 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 now, he did that nigga like um, Styles did on um, Jay and Reservoir Dogs, bro. Like, I remember that shit. He was like, yo, when the nigga, uh, uh, the nigga Jay was like telling tell them locks niggas to bring their bags. They, um, he, he was like, they bought their bags and shit. And then he told them niggas to take it back. Y'all only gonna be at one day studio session. So the studio session, bro, like he came through, dropped a verse. The nigga Styles just got pissed off. He was like, I don't give a fuck who you are. So fuck who you are. Word. I don't care about a pretty bitch. Walk right? out car. Mm. I don't care about you, black who you shot. Nah, Cole, Cole doesn't even know who you are. I don't care about your past. If I did, I would have asked that you bitch in my intro with a whole lot of hash. As far as that's, this rap shit, shit, I'm 10 steps that's ahead that's of niggas that's shooting that's backwards just for that's practice. Hold up. Hold y'all. Y'all going on a tangent. We right here. Do You right to the verse right here. This is what we saying oh, is better than that Kendrick shit. And if Kendrick know, I don't know, man, because Kendrick is nice. 
But J. Mm -hmm. Cole is nice too. And J. Cole been getting nicer lately. He's been on a yeah, run. Nah, I, got, I, got, I, still, I still I still got I still got J. Cole like slightly ahead of uh, uh Kendrick right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, all right, so hey, yeah, come on, man. Anybody want to read this verse? Uh, uh, uh it's up there. So on it's me. on it's you, on man. Me. This is the big fan breezy show. Yeah, yeah all right, it's man. on you, bro. So, so Jake, hold on, J. Cole, he goes, they get so thirsty to put me in beef, dissecting my words and start looking too deep. I look at the tweets and start sucking my teeth. I love it. I, I'm letting it rock because I love the mistake. I still want to give me a song where I be. Can't trust everything you saw on IG. Just know if I diss you, I'll make sure you know that I hit you like I on your caller ID. Ooh. Name it now. Pretty is I. He said ironic because ain't no fallout for me. Ooh. Still in the city, big, big, they waiting on the kid. Drop like a father to be. Love when it. <laughs> he's going crazy right now. That nigga snapping. He's, 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 he's snapping, bro. He's snapping, he's snapping like right Muhammad now. Ali. He said, huh, going, yeah, But see, this uh, is the part uh, right here. Huh? This is the part right here where it's about. I love when they argue with the hardest MC. Is it K Dot, Aubrey, or me? Like, that's mm. what K. That's where K Dot is like, y'all teaming up, y'all talking this kumbaya shit. Who could be the mm -hmm. best? No, nigga, it's me. That's mm -hmm. what K Dot is trying to say. So hold on, hold on. Let's stay there real quick, Jay. Right there. Why are you I think he like, yo, why are you saying K Dot, Aubrey, or me when I'm not on a song? If it was up to us three, all of us would have been on a song at the same time. So don't shout me out unless I'm on a song with you. I think that's some MC shit. Like, I ain't looking for props or no clout. I should have been on this song, not the next song. I think so, he's trying to say, fuck Yo, shit, song. shit, K-Dot rap over that beat. I wouldn't even be on beat. your song. I mean, he wasn't going to be on the song. Yo, shit, K-Dot rap over that beat. Drake don't fuck with him. That was Drake shit. Mm. That was Drake shit, bro. He knew he wasn't going to be on that song. So that's that's the reason mm. why. This song, period, that is why why he had a problem with that and didn't, the, uh, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the 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 big three line that J Cole has said made it just put more ammo ammunition in the gun. That's all. They need to just line. piece it up and oh, make wait, a song, look bro. Look at the next line. It says we the big three like we started a league, but right now I feel like I'm Muhammad Ali. So that's still a kind of a shot, but it's like we the big yeah, three. Yeah, yeah, that's kind. Of, yeah, but that's kind of a, K Dot is like we are not the big three. We're not nothing. It's me and it's <laughs> other niggas. That's what K Dot is trying to nothing, explain nigga. to these niggas. It's <laughs> me and it's y'all other niggas. It's not a big yeah, three. We, we it's ain't not we a ain't shit. Y'all niggas, like, y'all yeah. niggas, y'all niggas oh, ain't God. me, and that's what y'all not. Yo, and again, I think it's valid for him to say that as an MC because, like, yo, y'all on the song together, and you shouting me out. I should be on the song. Does I get past that part? Why I'm not on the song? The fact that you shouting me out and I'm not on the song and me and you were supposed to do a mixtape be way before you and did that song. Yeah, I could see how why he went at J. Cole, bro. That's a MC to MC. Yes. K. Dot is right for going at J. Cole, bro. The fans, the fans win with that mixtape. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, that's all I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. Bro. I, mean, shit. I mean, listen, granted, I, I, I listen. Cole gotta make up his mind though, cause he be, he said he if he if he if y'all listen to the song that he released, I think a couple of I think it was called Heaven's EP. He said, "Yo, um, some niggas threw the bronze at me. They said I was third place behind Kendrick and uh, Drake. Yeah, them niggas are superstars to me. Like it was, it it came off as like, yeah, I guess I, I am third in in, in the yeah. rankings. Nah, but I, in I terms think of what." Feels he been getting I mean, better, but, and he like, knows he been getting better. So he might be moving up that ladder. At the same time, I feel, I feel like J. Cole, bro, like, don't really want to, he don't really want to necessarily battle and go rap for rap with nobody. That, let's see, see, anytime Yo, this, this right here is, is a shot at Drake on his own song to me. I'm talking about I'm the one that they call when they ain't connecting no more. I feel like I got a job in IT. It's like, yeah, you knew you had to come get me for this song. You know what I mean? This song I don't, think Drake, I don't think Drake. I don't think Drake really give a fuck, my nigga. Of course, because he the one making the money off the song. Exactly, bro. Like, so I don't think Drake really give two shits, bro. Look, it ain't, look it ain't rhyming like, with it ain't. me is the biggest mistake. Oh wow! <laughs> and he's rhyming with him. <laughs> so we but, but also, but also like with Drake. With Drake. I felt like he was taking shots at Benny on the shit with Benny too. 
mean, but also with Drake, Drake, Drake is the man. more uh Drake is the more marketable and the more uh out of the two out of the two. Like Drake is not only just in the rap genre, he exactly. in the pop genre, he in every genre. Like they comparing him to MJ Taylor Swift. All these other yeah, dudes, make, so, yeah, he, he gonna feel like he out there leave, history. right? Yeah, so, I mean, it. but when it comes to the the rap, like lyrical rap, like K Dot and Kendrick, like K Dot and uh, Cole, and, 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 nah, and man. Cole, bro, like this shit ain't for Drake, bro. This shit is not for him, bro. I'm he gotta get, look, he got look, his ghost riders really gotta work overtime. Don't get me wrong, if this is the this, bro, but this shit. This is not for him to jump in, bro. This is for the J. Cole to rip to, to, to figure out, yo, you battling me? You battling me, nigga? Or you running with that nigga, bro? Like what you wanna be homies? Bro? Nah, that's why I disagree. I think Drake gotta say something. Cause Cole, I think we all know Cole is not Cole shit. is the Cole. I think we all know Cole has the lyrical capability to come at a Kendrick. Yo, do we don't we have yet to see to what Drake can do. Yet? We seen Drake with Pusha and we seen Drake with Meek. We haven't seen Drake with Kendrick yet. So that's why we like, yo, we need to get we need to get him verse from uh, Drake to Kendrick. Like this is a different caliber. This ain't Meek or Pusha T. No, 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 no. See the Pusha T shit got shut down because that nigga Jay Prince had got involved. That's the that's the reason what that that had happened. Jay Prince had got involved, bro. He said, nah, we ain't doing that. After um he made the uh 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 the story of Aubrey. Or whatever, whatever that shit was, bro. Because that nigga was about to go in on him, bro. Like, and then that nigga shut it down. It was a couple of Drake joints that got shut down. It was a bro, push a T for Drake to be a father, bro. Yo, like, the is show, that bro. like? Oh yeah, yeah. Bro. So we ain't even get to the good part of the verse. What breeze not there no more? Fuck it. I don't know. But I know is no, this verse is fire though. When that nigga got to that shit where he was like, I spray this whole shit up, the crop duster, not rushing. Yeah, when he switched the flow, yeah. Premium, I was like, yo, this guy's going crazy. I see, I don't know, bro. Like, don't get me wrong, Drake slid on the second beat, but it's like when it comes to shit like this, like that's why I be saying he be ducking the smoke, bro. Like, that's what he need to uh his ghost look, riders gotta work don't overtime. Do don't do that because right after he dropped this album and people would say he wasn't lyrical enough, he went and dropped that other five song pack. That's on Red Button. Drake went crazy on Red, Red Button. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, he dropped that short little EP. But I, yo, I was so, lyrical, he can. I, I don't think he can get K out lyrical. Or 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 Cole, like he was spitting on that them EP. Don't get it twisted, but it's it's a different lead. Like I I just chalk it up to brain brain power. Like some dudes just got too much words in they word bank that you can't mess with at at some point in time. I think K Dot is one of those, and I think Cole is one of those. With Not Drake, he's gonna rap about the woman and and too much money and all. Like cool, bro. We understand that, but like. What else you got in the tank? Like what else? What else can you give? And it's the same thing with Mo, what most Def said when when he was coming at Drake or whatever. You're like, bro, what happens when the foundation crumble? Like, what you gonna rap about? Like, it's a reason why people don't get on Kendrick and Cole because they out they out here, they in the streets, they at protests, they you know what I'm saying? They representing the people. Like, what you out here really doing? I just think he don't want to smoke with K Dot, man. And if he do release a track, then he it's gonna be a crazy summer. Cause I feel like it's gonna be back and forth. I think K Dot is tired of hiding in the shadows. I don't know, bro. It's 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 tough. I think I don't think, but to Lee's point, I don't think Cole gonna respond. I think if anything, it's most on Drake. I think this, I think this track, he was mostly. Cool with Cole. Like, yeah, I'm gonna shoot some shots at Cole, but bro, this is not really for you. I'm speaking to the nah, man that you you linked up with. This shit, this shit ain't for Drake, bro, because Drake is thinking status. These niggas, bro, is thinking rap shit, bro. Like, I'm Drake is worried about that shit. Nah, that's for Drake, bro. For all the for all the dogs, I'm bringing KT and Nons. This ain't this is a pet cemetery. Like, come on, dog. Prince outlived Mike Jack. 
<laughs> like, come on. This is definitely for Drake, I, I, bro. Listen, I, look, look, LM, I understand the lines in it, bro. Listen, I understand that, that this is, and I understand what what uh, uh what, what K Dot verse in his future song was. I understand how direct it was, bro. But J Cole, but but J Cole is gonna respond a whole lot more than Drake is. Like Drake. If Drake throws any response at this, it's gonna be one of those pity pat type of joints where a nigga wears and where's a nigga uh, that's about to get an executive job or some shit, and he's gonna be throwing money lines around and shit like that, bro. He ain't gonna throw nothing around like he's been throwing around the last 12 years. He's been throwing it around the last 12 years because he knew uh, uh Ke- Ke- he knew Kendrick wasn't gonna say shit until Kendrick developed a dis uh, uh, developed the status. Or, 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 or a status in rap, bro. Like now, Kendrick is at that status twelve years. You said this should have been going on for twelve years. Why it took twelve years for this to happen? Why? Why? Hey, when was that? Because they be co- they keep ago? doing they keep doing some they keep doing subliminals. But here's to your point. I don't think Cole need to respond, and here's why. He's in the fall off mode. He's doing a whole album rollout. In terms of this happening unexpectedly. This might throw a wrench in his plans. He might, if 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 Kendrick on this type of timing, he might have to delay the album rollout. He just released a whole snippet just now, which was fire, of of his recent tracks of him in the track. This is the fall of rollout. He near retirement. If Kendrick is on this type of timing, he might have to be like, "Yo, I ain't going And he on tour with Drake. So if anything, Drake just released a whole EP. He released a whole album. If anything, I think Drake got more time to respond and he got the ability to do it more than Cole because Cole is in album mode. He's trying to get this album out. If he gonna take if you saying that Cole gonna delay the album real quick for so like all right, this is what everybody ask, on. Cole might add something to the album. Who knows? I'll listen. To the album. This is Cole this is could just Cole. Cole could drop a bunch of shit trying to drop some disses promoting the album. Yeah, he, he could go. He could just go. He could go on. He could go on flex and just drop a freestyle dissing this nigga. Or go on LA leakers and go to different platforms dissing this nigga, and then be like, I don't think, fall off coming soon." I don't think. I don't think Cole's gonna do that because he playing mediator. If, if anything, this nigga been on the peace and positivity mediator. train for for, for months. This ain't, this I don't ain't think he's gonna come. The time come for back mediation, they, the time for mediation is over. The time for media, the time for being to to to, to be the middleman is over. Right, no more said, I know what I know what Cole can do already. I don't want to hear Cole. I want to hear that the the man that got accused for Ghost Riders for mad years come at somebody who write all his stuff. I don't want to hear from Cole. I already know what Cole gonna bring to the table. I know what Cole is about. I want to hear from off, okay. the man first, himself. First off, first off bro, Yo, look, I'm, ghost, I'm gonna tell you the ghost writer situation, in. bro. It's just a nigga, bro, just being busy as hell, bro. And he ain't Hold got on, time no. to write his own Hold shit. Hold on for bro. a That's second, Lee. Nah, you can't, you Hold can't, on. you can't make that as an excuse. Yo, LL, look, or most I of- promise you, if Drake come back at this, he's not gonna give you what you want, though. It's not gonna be a straight lyrical attack on Kendrick. He gonna be on that shit singing and make that shit into a party. That's not what the OVO. Who I'm hearing, you know, that's not I'm, what the OVO can't think. Yo, I'm telling you, it's gonna be some. He gonna be singing and he gonna make the whole crowd sing "fuck Kendrick Lamar" some <laughs> shit. Like that's he gonna really be har- he gonna be harmonizing that shit. And just be like, yeah, all them funny, weird voices. You know, we don't like that shit. I'm telling you. I don't care why we, but I did. I don't care how he does it. I just wanted to respond. If it's fire, it's fire. If you're going to take that pop route, cool. But I want to hear, say something about this nigga 5'4". So, like, go, do, say something. I I don't matter how you do it. If you want to do it your pop way, cool. Do that. You do it your pot way. You know how to. You know how to angle it. Yeah, do yay. Back to back was is always played. It got mass streams. If anything, and that's what you're gonna do. Do it, nigga. Like, why why you playing? Like, I mean, listen. That's what I'm saying. Like, nigga, Drake is gonna make it into. Like, he gonna dish you on a single. Yeah. Like, it's not gonna be a regular diss record. I listen, if any, I don't mind how he does it. As long as this, uh, I don't, I'm just need, I'm tired of subliminals. I need names. Like, you, you gotta put names on this shit now. 
I think Drake done got in such a comfort mode, bro, with the status that he in, bro. Like the subliminal route is somewhat what he's gonna go, but he's not gonna make an all-out diss song against Kendrick, bro. He's gonna throw something in there, a line or two, and then continue on with, with the song and shit, and then turn it into some type some type of shit that they could be played in clubs and, and get arounds and all of that, bro. And itchy eye. I don't bro. think I don't even think we know that because to Jay Point. He he, I think he's listening to the people. To Jay Point, he said, "Yo, for all the dogs, there wasn't barely any rapping. What he do? Came out with a whole EP pack of him just rapping. Like, okay, y'all want the lyrical stuff here? Y'all been asking for it. So if he listening but, but to the, the if he the, listening to the, the EP, streets, and he listening to the, 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 the yeah, but the EP the was a teaser, bro. Like the EP was one of those. All right, man, I'm gonna do this shit, bro. And I ain't and I ain't appeasing to y'all niggas no more, bro. I'm about to go get this Toronto money. I'm about to go get this damn uh 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 uh, uh this overseas and all oh, oh, and this ambassador money and all of this crazy shit, man. I ain't got no time for this shit no more, bro. Like this shit is look, it, it's it's gonna turn into a hobby. And to the point, bro, where like the status is basically gonna sell regardless. That and that's basically what's selling, my nigga, because the shit that he been putting out, he been selling strictly off of status. That's all he's been selling off of, bro. That's he been making records strictly off of status. He been he been killing, he been taking other niggas producing producing strictly off of status, bro. Like take heat, bro. Don't even fuck with the niggas that he came out with because of this nigga. Like, come on, bro. Like, what do we, bro? We know, we know what this nigga doing, bro. It's not no secret, bro. Like, we know he had ghostwriters ain't like he denied it. Like, we know all of this shit, bro. The thing is, bro, he's worried about charts, selling, bro. That that nigga ain't concerned with this shit. Kendrick, Kendrick did this shit years ago with Big Sean and them niggas, bro. They ain't say shit, bro, because they was trying to sell records. That nigga, them niggas not interested in that, bro. Like they not. Bro, see, I think that's just I think part of the game, part of the part of hip hop is battle rap. Like we see I, battle rap all the time in in, 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 in certain thing. areas. We sir we heard Eminem, even though it was Mariah Carey, you know the Eminem uh Mariah Carey this. You saw the Eminem in and murder and murder ain't beef. Like yeah, this, I'm this come with the this come with the territory. We oh, like, of course, know. we don't want it to elevate to, to, to the no. guns and shooting and all that. We don't want it to go to that. Keep it just rap. Here's the difference. It was that. It, that's what it was. It, the hip hop scene, bro. Basically, Atlanta run that shit, bro. Like these niggas is kumbaya as fuck, bro. When it was in New York, hell no. Now nah, I run New York. Now nah, I run. Let me, New York. Nah, fuck out of here. Let me ask y'all a question though. So how about this though? Would it say on the screen and say, would it be hilarious if Cole and Drake respond back on the same track, right? Yeah. But mm -hmm. does do y'all think it would make it, them look weaker to respond back on the same track? Or would it make them look like, because if, if they don't, if they stop fucking with each other after this, it'll make it look like Kendrick made them stop fucking with each other. That, 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 you know, so what, um, what, what, like, what you think the narrative should be for them? Like, how should they I, I, come I, at it? I think they should respond separately. I don't think this should be on the same. I don't think it should be on the same I track. I, think they I just did the same track together. I think they should respond separately, but I think they're gonna team up just, just, just to be like because the nigga J Cole, bro, like he he already know what he wants. I, I, you don't go, you don't go to, you don't go do a track with Drake unless you know for sure. Yo, they can let J Cole, J Cole do the raps and let Jake let Drake sing the hook. Let Drake sing the hook. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> do some harmonizing oh, on the hook. Like fuck that nigga, he's a hater. <laughs> oh my god, yo, you a fool. I ain't gonna lie, it, it's separately or together. I feel like if they, I, I don't know, cause we need some contract. I feel like hip hop needs something at this moment in time, bro. If this big three controversy, I feel like that's gonna stir up the pot a lot. Like you see, it's on Twitter. Like everybody, this shit is gonna start choosing all now. around already. Word, like, oh, are you OVO? Are you Drake? Are you uh, if you are you Cole team? You Kendrick? This gonna be like Marvel Civil War or some uh, yeah, some type of shit, yo. That's what it's gonna seem like. It's gonna be like seem, seem like yo choose yo yo choose your destiny, bro. On some Mortal Kombat shit, bro. You chose this way, bro. Yo, you going on some light skin nigga shit, bro. Like you gonna be fairy tales and rainbows out this motherfucker, bro. Like. And then you go and then you go over here 
you're gonna be on the right side of me that kind of want to do something, bro, but don't really want to do nothing, bro. Like, I, okay, so go with him. Or you should call over here. You won't be on robotic flow time, bro. Like, and then you gonna have to uh, deal with this nigga conscious shit and all this sort of crazy shit that he's come out with when he's not going that nigga. So, so it's, three, it's three different routes. There's three different routes you could go, bro. At the end of the day, to me, they all fucked up. My thing is, if niggas was really about that shit, they would just step on the URL, stand in front of each other, and really have a battle. <laughs> stand in front That's of each other, fact. look each other in the eyes, in the and eye. get the man shit to off man, face chest. to face, man to man, face to face, bro. You bring your OVO niggas by, uh, uh, to, to stand behind you, stand guard. Yo, you, yo, you bring all your niggas from North Carolina to stand guard. You bring all your niggas from from uh. Constant the standard, bro. Like, but we all gonna be here. Figure this shit out. Who out of all three of y'all niggas, who got the best raps right now? This how is smack, how smack set it up. Something I don't know. Yeah, if they, if, they need to if do niggas something. Really though. wanted to see who was the best rapper. That's what I. Was. Up, man. I ain't gonna lie, yo. You know, smack gonna make the most money he ever made in his career if that if something like that happened. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Make that, that, make, that, 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 that yo, if they made that shit a pay per view, people tune into that. Oh yeah. yeah yo, man, my, my money going toward that. <laughs> my money definitely look, going toward that. Gonna be a whole, gonna be a whole bunch of niggas going to other niggas' houses, bro, just to try to say, yo, bro, y'all coming through, bro. Yeah. All of these songs and sneak disses is cool, but looking each other in the eye, mano y mano is different. Mm-hmm. Like he Drake be in the URL scene too. He be like in the all uh, this, with all of this in the studio. You could do a thousand right. takes and put a million filters on your voice and do yeah. mad different flows. Mad, no, yeah. do that shit one take in front of everybody saying that mm-hmm. shit. That shit one. Take, that would be fire. That's tough. That's tough. Yeah, that's tough, bro. Yeah, I'll be fine. Smack will make mad, but you know, I would get mad breath from that. I, yeah, I'm with Jay out there for that shit. I'm like, yo, yo, listen, go hit up that nigga, smith it at. Go, go tell him the idea, bro. Like, set the sh- set up the uh, pay per view, however y'all niggas want to set it up, and let's get this shit cracking, bro. If a nigga got to get punched in his face, bro, it is what it is. Fuck it. I think all of them is battle rap tested too. Like they all been around the battle rap scene, so it's not like it's new territory. I think the only new territory it would be. I think the only thing it would be is like, yo, we we face to face now, so the fans know what's up. But other than that, I know Drake done. I know Drake done came at that went at a lot of niggas, bro. Like uh, um before the uh before uh, um before uh 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 uh, this nigga this nigga uh. Before the last two battles that he had, bro, like the, the ones, the notable ones that, that we know of, bro, like I listen, Drake, Drake is definitely battle tested, bro, like, but the thing is, I don't think Drake really give a shit about that anymore. I don't think Drake really care about that anymore, bro, like the thing is, I think Drake is just in a different zone, bro, like, I mean, like, like this nigga is in, in a status entrepreneur type of zone, bro, right now, bro, I don't bro, think you- he's in that... I don't think he's in that phase anymore, bro. He's just like, man, fuck, man, I ain't responding to this shit. It's just yeah. kind of lazy to say, that's but corny, I mean, bro, that's corny, it, bro. It, 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 yeah, it's corny and lazy to say, bro. But but these niggas is thinking money, bro. They ain't thinking that shit no more. Ain't thinking that shit, bro. My like, thing is, why Drake? Why Drake still on the money? Like, bro, you already, you already rich. Like, why you can't set that aside for the for the hip hop for the love of hip hop? Like, why you can't go out and, and, and all right, bet, I'll entertain Kendrick. Why not? Yo, let's go in the studio. Let's cook something up. But what does he get out of, the thing is, what does he get out of winning? And what does he get out of losing? Not a damn thing. I think the biggest thing of, against Drake for the for not only his, for now, but his career is that he's never, besides Meek, he's never really won, like, a rap battle that was important like in terms of push a t he i think personally he got cooked in that i'm not even gonna lie like he made you make you had a whole son like you now you had to be a father in the public like i feel like in terms of guys like that that come from like the old club like the 90s club like the 2000s club push a t come from the thing where you know these dudes don't care what they say like it's rap 
like yo, yo, yo I'll kill your mom, God for like all this other stuff. Like they on, they not on the time and the yo, yo, you taking it too far. Yo, you said like they not on that. They come from a different cloth. They gonna say whatever they say on the track. Nah, 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 and if you feel the way, gotta, it is what it is. I think we gotta tell a whole story about that. The thing is, on Push only went at only only came, he only went at Drake in that in that in that way because Drake kept talking about his wife, bro. Like that's that's what that's true. That. So that means all right. So you gonna talk about my wife? Okay, cool. Now I'm gonna talk about a secret that you had that you didn't want the public to know, and now you gotta be a fraud in public now. So cool. Now that's done. I think since then, Drake has kinda in terms of not only rap battle but like albums like he ain't really put nothing out that's really been nice since take care or nothing was the same or if you're reading this is too late or views i think most of his albums have declined over the past few years so if anything i think hip-hop fans kind of want to hear like a uh you know what i'm saying yo it's the big three y'all been linked to each other since 2010 like y'all been sending subliminals at each other for years you shown that yo drake you can rap when you want to kendrick has shown it too let's see what y'all got at the table i think jay is right if you let's set up a url event or something y'all get whatever y'all gotta get off your chest let's get it let's get it popping you we already know you got money bro you're a billionaire whatever you want like we cool you know you got money cool we off that we know you the richest out of the big three we know you got all that you got the endorsements you with nike all that you see it in the music videos cool but if so, you so, really got a love for the for hip-hop screw so, the money so. at some point you before you got the money you love hip-hop period it wasn't so, yeah so. you the money came with it but you love hip-hop eric kendrick loves hip-hop cole loves hip-hop you love hip-hop too drake at the same time, before you got rich, this was the this was the love of the game. You was in the studio thinking about bread. You was thinking about yo, I love this shit. I love putting words together and making songs and and, and rap. Like yeah. it's a love for the game. We speak about the same thing with these basketball players. The love of the game. That's what they got into it for. They eat, live, and breathe this game. So the fact of the matter is, why not go back to that? And be like, yo, I'm gonna get back into my love of the game and go at this dude Kendrick who thinking that I'm too sore. You know like, all right, cool, let's do it. Yeah, I think everything that you said is a hundred thousand percent valid, bro. But at the same time, times change. People change. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it is what it is, bro. Like, we done seen it. Like, you know what I'm saying? We done seen it for some niggas, bro. Like, we seen it back in 2003 when Ho got the job for um Def Jam, bro, and started moving niggas out, bro. Like. Positions and, and where you are and status change you, bro. It is what it is, bro. And I think, that, like, in the, in, in the case of Drake, bro, I'm, are we starting to, like, kind of see that, bro? You don't put out shit like, well, well shit like, shit like, shit like, I'm too sexy in my nigga, and you still care about hip hop. You don't put out shit like motherfucking, uh, 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 bro, this nigga got like, sneakers, bro. Mikel Bridges don't even got sneakers, and Drake got yeah, sneakers, bro. man. Exactly. Like, like Drake it's is on, different. Drake is, on a, yeah, Drake is in a different. He did. He in a different bracket. Bro. Well, like, shit. J Cole got sneakers too, if you want to put it that way. But he, they not Nikes. They Pumas. But yeah, still. Pumas, yeah. But Mikel don't even got. <laughs> yeah, but Drake, J Cole. You can see J Cole love for the the art of hip hop though. Like even though he he not as famous as Drake, he still you can still especially with this this full of rollout like you just see the love for hip hop from him, like he in love with the lyricism and he dip said and all of these guys like he going back but to see, the that's roots. What I'm saying I might see, you might see uh, Jim Jones respond for him before you see Drake respond. Exactly. Nah, I don't think that's corny. Like, they did it at already, some point. Though. It happened though. Like, Jones was responding to Pusha T on behalf of Drake. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I still think that's corny. Why you? Why you? Why your man can't stand up for himself? Of course it's corny, man. But that ain't, that ain't gonna stop these niggas from doing it, bro. Like, I mean, they feel like once they get the status, they can do any damn thing. That's how they feel, bro. I'm like, man, now, now, bro, this just, nigga is out there designing new sneakers and coming out with different collabs, like. He might not care about this, but 
he could care about it, but I don't think he has to respond. I feel like he should respond, but responding to this don't do no, like if he responds and wins this battle it does not make him a bigger rapper but if he responds and it's totally dog water that does fuck some shit up exactly so he basically someone in a lose-lose bro drake, and i think drake nah i don't think so. i think drake still i think, I think drake has some i think drake carries some sort of issue and i'm not saying like i know him personally but i think drake still kind of has something of appeasing the rap fans of his fan base like we all know he has like the pop the pop fan base in his freaking palm of his hand bro like it is what it is but the rap fan base of drake they feel like yo you haven't really done enough like where's uh 80 the thing that he released the a abm and charlotte or whatever the whatever the name was that's drake that's the drake that everybody wants to hear he was spitting on that that's rap we all i know that drake I, me personally i think drake can rap i'm not gonna say he can do his pop thing but i feel like when he really put his mind to it he can spit i want to see that is, against i want to see that against kendrick bro but when you, if you win when or you not talk, when you talk about business and shit of music them songs, them 8 a.m.s and 9 a.m.s, those ain't his highest streaming songs by a long they, shot. They ain't. So they that's ain't. where he be focused on. They so, ain't because they, they, they only... They yeah, only but he gonna get streams regardless, though, Jay. He's Drake. Like, they, it, those, the, the, those are his favorite cult songs, at, period. When, you, when Drake can't talk about Drake can't spit, is, those are the songs he... They, they reference his, to. It's his, his 8 a.m. So 8 a.m. 8 a.m. in Toronto, bro, is never gonna get... The 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 uh, uh the, the 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 global status of uh, uh call me on my cell phone or my fucking uh, 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 yeah shit don't got a hook. I think you shouldn't care about that because you're already at the point of where you're famous already. Like this, you whatever you do, whatever you do is going to get played, bro. It's going to get played. It's not like you are independent artist and you're trying to get your name up. You Drake. Whatever you do is going to get streamed. Doesn't matter if it's one billion, two billion, or or one million, bro. You gonna get streams. They gonna go to Spotify and stream it. Your fan base is one of the biggest fan bases in the world. No, you, you got hope. Like, that might, that come might, on, bro. Look, look, because his fan base, it's not like he losing money if he come out with yeah, a diss track. Yes, yes. Because if he come out with some shit and it only go a million or some shit like that, then it's looked at as a flop. <laughs> For somebody else, that could be their biggest song ever. For him, if he put that out, that's a flop. And I don't matters. think that's a flop. I don't think it's it a might, flop. It I think I don't think he loses flop. sleep if he it come out with a diss track. To, 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 and Drake be spending certain. mad money on gambling, losing mad bread sometimes, and he and he don't care. He's still and gambling. He said, I need a max win. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's he be get, yo, with. he be on yeah. st on stake, all that gambling, two mil. You think yeah, he yeah, can't, but, he gonna lose care about losing yeah, yeah, bread? No, no, but, but the reason why he gambling two mil is because he got call me on my cell phone doing like at least right. eight. Nigga, he gonna get the money back. He ain't worried about that. Y'all not y'all not understand what I'm saying. Regardless if it's if he got call me on our cell phone or not, his music is still going to do streams. His even if if this if he make a crazy Kendrick diss track or whatever, like Jay said, a pop song, and it's good. That's going to pop, and it's going. And even if he, if the fans think, "Yo, Drake won that," let's say they say, "Yo, Drake won that." He killed him on a pop record, and he got Kendrick. Do you know how much streams that song is gonna do? He may make, he may make that money back plus more if 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 it, if it came to that kind of if it came to that. Yo. I'm not saying that he that he should uh he shouldn't respond. I don't think it's gonna matter if he does or, or does not. Yo, but I feel like you you don't got much to lose since you already at the top. Yo, That's hold on, my fault. Oh, yeah, hold on. Nah, I, I gotta do something. I gotta close out. Yo, but I just wanted to say shout out to everybody on the panel, man. Hopefully y'all hit that cab chat. But even if y'all didn't, I appreciate y'all. Um, and again, uh, if y'all like these, we could do more of these. This is dope, man. Shout out to Jay, Leaf, and Ella for pulling up talking. Uh, I was about to say sports, but it is kind of like a sport. Hip hop is like a sport. Um. Yeah, man, but shout out to y'all, man. I appreciate y'all. Let me get with y'all on the next one. Peace. All right. All right.